Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation in trigonometrical form. So how can you solve this? First of all, we can simplify this a little bit. We can write this 91, 81 as 3 to the fourth power. Just simplify this a little bit. We know that 81 equal to 3 to the fourth power. So let's simplify this a little bit. So we will have 3 to the fourth power raised to the power sine square x plus 3 to the fourth power raised to the power cosine square x equal to 30. Nothing hard, just put 3 to the fourth power instead of our 81. So what we're going to do next? We have a situation like that. We have a to the power x raised to the power b. We know that this will be equal to a to the power x times b. So we just multiply our exponents, our power. So let's do this. We will have 3 to the power 4 sine square x and plus 3 to the power 4 cosine square x equal to 30. Nothing hard, just using ex an exponent rule. What we're going to do next? We have sine square x and we have cosine square x. It's so hard to work with it because we can work with just our only our sine and only our cosine. How can we do this? We know that our trigonometrical main trigonometrical equation looks like that sine square x plus cosine square x equal to 1. This is the main trigonometrical equation. We can express from here our cosine square x. And then we will have cosine square x equal to 1 minus sine square x. And we just put our cosine instead of our cosine square of x. So just put right here uh, this right here. And we just work with our sine. Okay, let's put this. We will have 3 to the power 4 sine square x and plus 3 to the power 4 and just put our 1 minus sine square of x instead of our cosine square of x. Parentheses 1 minus sine square x equal to 30. Nothing hard, just remember the main trigonometrical equation and an exponent rule. Okay, what are we going to do next? We can multiply our parentheses, so let's do this, nothing hard, just multiply this. We will have 3 to the power 4 sine square x and plus 3 to the power 4 minus 4 sine square x equal to 30. Just multiplying our parentheses by 4. Okay, what are we going to do next? Of course, we know that if we have a situation like that, if we have a to the power x plus b, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power b. Just remember this rule. If we have a to the power x plus b, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power b. And let's use this rule right here. We will have 3 to the power 4 sine square of x and plus, let's use this rule right here. We can write this, 3 to the power 4 minus 4 sine square of x, we can write it as 3 to the power 4 times 3 to the power minus 4 sine square x equal to 30. Okay, if we have minus right here in our denominator, we can bring this 3 to the power minus 4 sine square of x to the our denominator and then we will have plus right here. So let's do this. We will have 3 to the power 4 sine square of x plus 3 to the fourth power and times 1 over 3 to the power 4 sine square x equal to 30. Just bring these with the minus power to our denominator and then we will have plus right here. So as you can see right now we have 3 to the power 4 sine square x and 3 to the power 4 sine square x right here. So this and this is the same. So let's use a substitution right here. So let this 3 to the power 4 sine square x for example equal to y. So we will have an interesting equation. As you can see right here this will be our y y plus Right here we will have 3 to the 4th power will be 81 and in our denominator we will have our y as well, equal to 30. Really good case because we just multiplying our 
both sides by y and then we will have quadratic equation let's multiply by y we will have y square of course plus if you multiply 81 over y times y we will have only our 81 plus 81 and I bring this 30 on the left and minus 30 y equal to 0 just change in order a little bit so a a y square minus 30 y and plus 81 equal to 0 a classic quadratic equation how can you solve this I use a Vieta's theorem so y first plus y second equal to 30 and our product y first times y second equal to 81 so we need to find this y first and y second the sum will be equal to 30 and our product equal to 81 so it's nothing hard our y first will be equal to 27 and our y second will be equal to 3 so we will have two pairs of roots two cases so let's write the first one we will have that our 3 to the power 4 sine square x equal to 27 classic exponential equation because we have 3 right here and we can express this 27 as 3 cube so let's do this 3 to the power 4 sine square x equal to 3 cube we have same same basis and we need to write an equation with our exponent so we will have that our 4 sine square x equal to 3 dividing both sides by 4 taking square root from both of the side and we will have that our sine x equal to square root of 3 over over 2 because we're taking square root from both of the side okay I'm just plus minus right here because we're taking square root from both of the side okay how can we find our x this is a real good case because this is a table case this is a classic case we have our table case right here so our x first will be equal to this is a table case so of course you know it minus 1 to the power n arc sine square root of 3 over 2 and plus the period pn n is z and of course we know this arc sine so our x first the final answer our x our x first will be, will be equal to minus 1 to the power n arc sine square root of 3 over 2 will be our p over 3 and plus pn n is z and this is our first root So let's find another one because we have 2y right here. We solve as well with our 27 and we need to solve an equation with our 3 and we will have our second root. So let's write an equation with our y second because we have a substitution that our 3 to the power 4 sine square x equal to y and we have 2y. The first y we solve it and let's solve the equation with our second y. So we will have 3 to the power 4 sine square x equal to 3 y second the same case is right here and we have the same basis and we need to write an equation with our exponent so we will have 4 sine square x equal to 1 do the same thing as right here so we divide in both sides by 4 we will have 1 over 4 taking square root 1 over 4 square root will be 1 half so we will have that sine square x that sine x equal to plus minus one half so and let's find our x it will be the same case right here the table case so we will have x second equal to minus one to the power n arc sine one half and plus pn n is z and let's find our arc sine we know that this arc sine one half will be our p over six so we will have our z second x second equal to minus one to the power n times p over six and plus pn 
n is z. And this will be our second root. And of course, this will be two second roots to our equation right here. So if you agree with this, if you disagree, maybe you have suggestion, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write your suggestion in the comment, put thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.